Hey guys, this is your boy, Alistair, the pro -X. yeah, that's me. Um, uh, but yes, today I am here bringing you the, uh, just the uh, highlight We yeah, I'd say the highlight reel, of this Zombies game that me and Harry decided to undertake the other day. Um, uh, the thing is, the difference with this Zombies game is it's like a challenge. We are only allowed to use the MPL, the pistol, non pack a punch, MPL is allowed to be pack a punched, the knife and frags. Um, of course, this is reasonably hard because the MPL would be our main gun. Um, I mean, we're allowed to use the pistol, of course, because the MPL is not in the first room. But, uh, yeah. Um,. Not really much to say on this one, but apart from sit back and enjoy, the uh, to be completely honest, the uh, the MPL is pretty much an underdog. There's no no really pe no real people that buy it. The only map that you want to buy it on really is uh, most often it's just five. Yeah, because it's it's just on the wall there. It's the best gun to get. Whereas here you can go straight through to the MP40 room, uh, which is just two doors away. And it's just a hell of a lot easier to get to it. Um, Harry casually camping in the corner. Having a little rave, as it seems. But, uh, yeah. Moving on to... Uh, let's just talk about the challenge video. We, we had lots of fun doing it. And uh, we'd like for you lot... Yes, you lot, just to leave your comments in the down in the comments of course where the comments belong comments 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 um, because comments aren't comments if they're not in the comments um, okay I'm saying comments too much but anyway leave some helpful comments down in the comments about uh, um, uh, giving us some ideas for challenges I mean of course I hope you enjoy this one um, this is where it really starts to get going um, but yeah, just give us some more ideas. We want we want more ideas, and post on our Facebook as well. We've got I'm gonna put a link in the description for that. Um, just make sure that you give us some ideas, and we will give you what you want. Just and um, as well with these challenge videos, it can be anything. We don't mind. Um, give us say CZ only. As soon as we get to CZ, we can only use a CZ. So, uh, yeah. Stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. Well, but it turns out the MPL pack a punched is quite beasty. It's just like, you pack a punch, it's like beast mode initiated. And it's just like, whoa. I mean, mine actually ended up having my favourite colour as the uh, red dot sight on it, because you do get a red dot. Um, almost double the. Uh, Almost double the ammo in the clips. Um, because, of course, you get 40 bullets in an upgraded clip uh, rather than 24. Actually, I don't know why I said almost double. It's nowhere near because double will be 48, of course. Stupid Alistair. Um, anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not doing this on purpose at all. <laughs> well, um, yeah, we will be bringing out more videos. Like a game that I've just recently gotten gotten hold of is called uh, Metro 2033. Um, uh, I know that came out a couple of years ago, but we'll be bringing out some walkthroughs and stuff on that. And uh, just on the lead up to Metro last night, which will be coming out next year. Um, uh, looking forward to that. We will be bringing out lots of playthroughs on that when it comes out because I know for a fact that I will be buying that. Um, because Metro 2033 is a very good game. I really enjoy it. Although sometimes the weapons can be a bit dodgy. Um, although they are very good. It is a very good game. You have to admit. I mean, there are certain aspects on it that, that could be massively improved. 
and yet there are some aspects on it that are just absolutely perfect for the game. Um, don't know why I left that crawler. I think we were going to go, I'm not sure. Did we go? Let's take, take a little look. Get some ammo. Move out, see the double tap. Now you see, this is this isn't our usual route to take. We usually take um, we usually go through the MP40 room, and uh, yep, you see the box back there. Yeah, we're not allowed to use it. Yeah, I mean we're allowed to use it, but I mean if we get a thunder gun in it, it was it's very heartbreaking because. You understand, when you get a thunder gun, you're just like, oh yes, yes mate, I'll take that. Um, but if we had have gotten a thunder gun or a ray gun or anything like that, we would have been like, no, it's there but I'm not allowed it. It's just, oh, so freaking, oh. but yeah, we agreed to each other that we would be allowed to uh, attempt for the box to get monkey bombs but I'm not even sure if it happened, I'm not even sure if I used the box once um, I can just remember just using the MPL pretty much I mean it, it is not a bad gun um, I would advise using it but although it does this is a warning on, on dogs it is amazing on early rounds when you get to later rounds, it starts to get pretty bad. Um, because the MPL, it kills with about three, maybe four shots at most um, in the uh, early rounds, which is about up to 15. After that, it takes pretty much entire mags, or half mags. And you don't want to be wasting that much ammo on one dog. Um, of course not, but... As me and Harry had set the challenge, we were only allowed to use these weapons. We were not going to give up. We were not going to let temptation allow us out. I mean, as you can see, I'm running around firing, aiming for headshots mostly. But uh, I know that a lot of people won't aim for headshots. It's a, it is a hell of a lot easier. Double nuke. Um, it is a hell of a lot easier to just to aim for body shots since, it, of course, it's a, a much, much bigger surface area to hit. I'm um, getting jugs here because um, otherwise I'm liable to going down. Everybody who knows me, yeah, you know me, um, when we play zombies. When I'm playing zombies, I usually go down at least once. Although in this playthrough, I don't go down. It's Harry that's going down, but I mean, that day he he was pretty off form. He wasn't. It, he was. He had some pretty bad luck that game. He he wasn't of it. He wasn't enjoying it going down. He goes down about um. I'll say about five times. I'm not sure. Um, can't really remember. But yeah. For once, I had a game where I did not go down. But, of course, it was very enjoyable. It was such a good game. I, I really enjoyed uh, playing it. And, uh, basically, this is what Black Ops is all about. This is this is what Treyarch is. Treyarch versus Infinity Ward. You can't really match them up. They're not really in the same category. Because if you... It's like comparing cheese, which is a dairy product, to beef which is of course a meat product it's not it's not the same thing i mean it's it, basically it is comparing milk to wine it's not a particularly fair fair judgment because basically the different games they are much very very different games of course they're both call of duties but infinity ward you you mainly play that for multiplayer and of course the campaign is a hell of a lot different in terms of um, they have been more modern recently 
because of course they've been modern warfare. Um, I don't know what they're going to bring out after Black Ops 2, which is Treyarch's new release. But uh, Treyarch has always been about Cold Wars. Cold Wars, World Wars, all that. Because um, as we remember World War 2, World at War, um, 1960s Vietnam, Cold War, all of that um, in Black Ops. Um, but now Black Ops 2 is coming, and I'm feeling that that is just a cold, like, the Cold War in uh, America in 2025, of course. Um, but the, these games, are, of course, because they have zombies, I would rather play these games. I mean, I really do love the multiplayer on Infinity Ward's Modern Warfare's. Don't get me wrong. The... The multiplayer is very crisp and it's very easy to play on. Quite, it's, It is a good multiplayer experience. And of course, Black Ops and World at War... Well, World at War actually had very good multiplayer. Apart from the unbalanced weapons as such, like the MP40. Basically balancing out to most of the bolt-action rifles. And most of the semi-automatic automatic rifles. But... Anyway... Um, Basically, Treyarch is never going to have as good a multiplayer experience as Infinity Ward has. You, you've got to admit it. Although Treyarch multiplayer is good, it won't actually... It, it probably will never be as good as Infinity Ward. Unless in Black Ops 2 they decide to bring out some kind of new... Well, some, some kind of new game modes... Which I do reckon they will. Most Call of Duties come out with new game modes every time they release a new Call of Duty. Um, uh, well, here is a question of the week. Um, what, what new game type mode? Come up with your own game types. What would you like to see in Black Ops 2? Just put them in the comments. Um, basically... We just want to know what you would like in the new Black Ops 2, of course. But this is in multiplayer, by the way. I'll be getting on to zombies in one moment. Um, but yeah, Black Ops multiplayer, lots of people liked it. It was it was a very good game for multiplayer. I really enjoyed it. It was it has, well that's mainly because it was my first Call of Duty. That. That was my Call of Duty. It was one that I actually got, and I was like, and I, I just couldn't believe it at how well I did on that compared to uh, other games. But um, basically, the reason I play Black Ops mainly is for zombies. I mean, a lot of you will know this because of the amount of zombies playthroughs we're going to be getting up especially when Black Ops 2 comes out um, but this that is the reason why I don't tend to buy the map packs on Infinity Ward's games because unlike Black Ops and World at War they don't have the zombies and uh, I know there have been many drops for Modern Warfare 3 this year um, and I would have liked I would have liked to have them all, but of course, um, some of them you just don't, you just don't particularly fancy having. Um, but I wanted to have it. I mean, of course. I mean, it's a map pack. Everybody, what everybody would like to have a map pack. Um, but it's just one of those things. I prefer, I prefer the Treyarch map packs so much. Just, but it is, it is just for the fact that there's zombies in it. Um, as you can see, here I go now. Back to the gameplay. Um, up to Pack a Punch Room. Pack a Punch my MPL here. Get it out. The MPLLF with my purple sight. Absolutely amazing. On this, I, I still can't believe that we actually just pack a punch by round 10. It was a, a very newbie decision to make. We were just like, 
Well, not really particularly newbie, it was just random. Harry just said, hey, do you want to go up? And I said, yeah, just, just let us waste his ammo and then we'll go up. Um, I couldn't seem to find the tape in there. I was looking around, I was like, "What? where is it? Um, but I, I just couldn't find it. Anyway, as you can see, the MPL, it is a good game, but... I'm not sure if anybody else finds this, but look at it. Look at the red dot when I when I fire fully automatic. Because unlike other weapons in the game, I find the red dot on the MPL is very flimsy. Like, um, like you know when you move the weapon and you're aiming down the sight, how the uh, red dot moves. Well, it moves when you're firing, and it. It's not a particularly bad thing, it's just that it's, it is, of course, very strange. Um, but, yeah. This has got to be the first dog's round uh, that I play with it. Of course. Um, yeah. It is a powerful weapon. But, I mean, of course, it has its limits. Um, me and Harry don't particularly make it to a, a, a very high round with this but I mean we're only using one gun give us a break um, I mean how well would you do if you said if say you only ha had to use the MPL and the problem with the MPL is it's not the fact that it's a very it, it's not the fact of the power it's the fact that it runs out of ammo like an absolute bastard it just it, I mean the fire rate on it yeah sure it's good but it just runs out runs out runs out over and over again I mean look at that but that's exactly what I mean by flimsiness of a red dot sight too it just moves everywhere look um, but yeah um, it just runs out of ammo so fast Included with the extra ammo you get, you get an extra 80 extra bullets, and you get the, of course, the added on. Um, I think it's 16 bullets. Yeah, 16 bullets per mag extra. Um, but it just runs out so fast. The fire rate is, of course, pretty quick. This is main. This is one of the main reasons. I mean, I do believe I buy double tap in this. I'm not sure if I do. If I do, it will be later on in the gameplay. Um, which, and if I did, it was the stupidest idea I would have ever had. Because the MPL runs out of ammo on its own pretty well. But then you buy a perk, which is basically... It, it, it is just basically the perk that wastes all your ammo. Although it makes it fire quicker, like... And for some weapons, that is a brilliant perk. Like the HK-21, which has got a terrible fire rate on zombies. Um, and the RPK kills like an absolute beast with double tap on it. But then there is a, those weapons where you just don't need it. And it's just like, it would have been best to say no. Such as the PM-63. Yep. It only has 20 bullets per mag, normally, and I'm pretty sure it would run out of that, run out of all those bullets, straight away, pretty much. Um, never mind with double tap. Double tap, you just lose all those bullets instantly. Um, it's, it's an insane... It's an insane perk. I don't know why it was made, but we must have thought it was a great idea at the same at the time. But I mean, of course, you cock shotguns. <laughs> cock. You cock shotguns faster, such as a stakeout. But in in this game, it's only the stakeout that's is only worth buying if you're just yeah. gonna use the stakeout. Yeah, the spot. If you buy it, if you are buying it for cocking shotguns, then you need to have the stake out. There's there's no other shotgun that where you want to cock it because the HS10 is semi-automatic, the uh, the Spas 12 is semi-automatic, and the Olympia is just terrible. It's a double barrel. Um, although Jay Shaw would like to disagree. Anybody who knows Jay Shaw, please just say that um, 
I mentioned him in one of my videos. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, Jay Shaw seems to fa think. Well, Jay, yeah, Jay Shaw, basic description. Big fat guy, eats burgers all day, plays Skyrim, plays Minecraft. And he says that it's an awful game when he's on it for hours and hours on end. Um, what a hypocrite. But yeah, he thinks that the Hades, which is of course the upgraded um, Olympia, he thinks it's amazing. All of us absolutely rip on him for it because, uh, of course, it is amazing till round 10. Oh! Oh, oh, but yeah, um, the Olympia, never really a good choice. I can remember when I first played Zombies, I jumped straight onto it and I thought, yeah, okay, let's do this. I bought an Olympia and I died after round 10. No, after round 4, actually. Yeah, um, because basically I didn't know what to do. I didn't know it was a double barrel. Remembering, this was before I'd even gone on multiplayer. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about this game. I didn't know anything about the guns. I just knew that basically... I just... I cannot believe it. But yeah, I, I went on. I did pretty shit. I died. Yeah. Um, I have to say I've come a hell of a lot long... I've come a hell of a lot of a longer way uh, from when I first had COD, um, Call of Duty, Zombies, whatever you want to say about it, um, which was um, the year that it was 2010, I think. Black Ops came out in 2010, didn't it? Yes, Black Ops came out in 2010. Um, when I first had an Xbox also, that is, 2010. Um, so yeah, I've come quite far in two years. It's a good, it's a good game. I I, I do enjoy it. Um, but of course, let's get back. Yeah, let's get back to the to the reason that we are here. The MPL. This is what I mean. It's out of ammo. It's out of ammo. Remember, there's a pistol there. It's full ammo. Like ha 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 ha. I've got full ammo, but I'm shit. Use me, but I'm shit. And it's like, no. Um, but yeah. Um, and, of course, if you've ever played Black Ops Zombies and pack a punched a weapon and bought, we bought ammo for a pack a punch weapon, you'll understand it costs a fucking fortune. 4,500 just for full ammo. When... For the MPL, it only costs about 500 for normal ammo. Why does it cost 4,500 for pack a punched ammo? I've already paid 5,000 to get it pack a punched. I shouldn't have to pay 4,000, which is only minus 1,000 off of the pack a punch charge just to buy ammo. It's like pack a punching it over and over and over again. I mean, I wish you could do that. But, of course, we can't. Not too good. Um, I think this is the first time that Harry goes down. Um, and I think I end up having to leave him. Despite bros before hoes, I end up having to leave him. And then I decide, um, 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 I'll run around. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'll do, I'll run around. And there's a, there's, there was a reasonable amount of zombies behind me. Yeah? Yeah? Reasonable amount of zombies. Okay, come on, Harry. I can make this. Anybody else would have thought we could make it. If I'd have got my pistol out and ran, I probably would have. I'm surprised I didn't, to be completely honest. But, yeah. Yeah, he died. No! <laughs> I shall avenge you! And then look. All of the zombies have gone. When you touch the gray. You 
PC. This is what I like about Nikolai. He's just a Russian. I don't care that he's in zombies. I don't care that he's a character. He's Russian. That's all I care about. You know, now you see, I've got 31 bullets. And I've not got enough for ammo. But then I think, oh wait, it's dogs. I don't need to buy ammo. So yeah, 31 bullets, it ain't good. I try rationing it, but it, it just doesn't work. Even when it's back a punch, by round 15, it's pretty much lost a lot of its power. But yes, um, not much gonna happen here apart from frag grenading. Um, if you can hear some slight tapping on the background, it is because I'm on BBM to my girlfriend. Yes, I play Xbox and I've got a girlfriend. Fuck all your stereotypes. Yes, that's right. Fuck all your stereotypes. Yeah. Anyway, um, I can't believe I, I had to do that. I, I really didn't want to buy ammo. Especially pretty much near the end of a dog's round. I think that that's the last dog as well. But I think Harry ends up going down. No, this is actually lag. Yeah, lag. You see, Base Hunter has left your Xbox Live party. We end up lagging massively. And. I mean, I don't even know what's going on here. Because it's not my connection, it's not Harry's connection. What the fuck's going on? I don't know how I managed to survive. It's just absolute awful like We hated it. But now, um, I had 40 bullets left, which means I got full ammo. Yay! Um, yeah. And here I was inviting uh, basement to back. Um, but yeah. I just couldn't believe that amount of lag. It was, I couldn't move. It was like it's like the campaign with Mason. Ugh, I've used tear gas. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. I couldn't make myself an ice cream. I like ice cream. Oh well. Um. Anyway. Um. But Harry has a hard time coming back. Um, as soon as he goes down the first time, and he starts going down a lot. Because um, I think he did buy Juggernog after the first time he went down. But the only problem was when we had those that absolute Lagosaurus. Lagosaurus Rex in that doggy round. He, I think he would have lost it. And I just end up letting him die over and over again. It's not a nice feeling to know that you're letting your friend, your partner, in die. It's not a nice feeling to know you're letting him die. But I mean, of course, it was for the greater good. Otherwise known as mine. My good. My good, bitch. And then I, 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 keep, I keep getting so lucky in this game. Which is probably why I didn't die. Yeah, that's that is probably why I didn't die. Anyway, buying some ammo there, some extortionate ammo. It's a, it's a, it's a wonder this is in Germany. I thought it would have been in Britain, on a corner shop somewhere. Extortionate prices on a corner shop. I mean, come on. Right, um, as you can see, um, we're coming up to uh, about three quarters through the video, um, but, which means it probably leads you to believe, oh, these lads aren't even going to get that far. Well, I don't even know what round we get to. I know we get to at least round 20, but I'm not exactly sure. It's just one of those things. 
Another game that we're going to be covering is Skyrim because I have got a Skyrim disc now. I mean, I'm borrowing it off somebody, but I'm recording it. So I'm being a scavenger. I'm getting my double. I'm getting my worth out of it. Um, there, there was another little bit of lag, but I mean, it nothing too massively major. But uh, yeah. Lag is awful. Nobody likes lag. Lag, it, it shouldn't even exist. It, it's it's a glitch. It's it's a glitch in the system. It's not good. Um, this at this point, Harry teleport, and, I, and he ha he asked me if he could teleport. And I said, yeah, 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 that's fine. Then when he's up there, I just say, oh, you just teleported without me. And he says, yeah, you just let me. He says, oh, shiznick, I'm not, I'm down here on my own. And he says, don't worry, I shall report, I shall, I shall give you frag grenade support. And I'm like, what else am I going to do? Hmm. And I'm just here with the MPL. I mean, to be honest... I think me and Harry did reasonably well to say we were using MPLs. I think if if I'm gonna buy a double tap, it would be now. If if I am going to buy it in this video, then I would have bought it. Yeah, I don't think I do, or unless I go out and buy it now, which is which is quite unlikely. But then again, I'm going right towards it. Oh, more lag. Th this game was a pretty bad game for lagging. Although, um... Although, it was very fun to make. Me and Harry enjoyed making it. We'll be making many more like this. Um, just give us a challenge, we'll do it. Um, basically... And as you can see, Harry's gone down again. Um, I, and at this point in at this point in the game, I felt so sorry for him because he, he didn't really have much of a chance. He he did not have a chance, and he, I just felt sorry for him. I was just like, no, Harry, no, my bitch. Then I say. I can get you up, I can get you up, I'm getting you up, I'm not leaving without you bro, and he says no, just leave me, and I'm like no. And then I decided, yes, you're right, if I had have gotten you up, then we would have both died. Because as you as you saw, just back then I went bright red. Of course, Nova Crawlers. Absolute bitches. Nobody likes Nova Crawlers. Nova the Crawler. Desmond the Moon Bear. How did I get here? The end. But yeah, um. I, I really did enjoy making this video. So please. Please. This is a charity now. Leave your support by liking and commenting and subscribing to our channel and liking this video of course because you can't subscribe to a video it'd be funny if you could though that's my favorite video I'm going to subscribe to it oh yes um, favorite Please, please remember to favourite this video as well. <laughs> um, I keep forgetting that one out. Um, but yeah, after as well as this, we will be putting on some. Uh, yeah, we'll be putting on some Modern Warfare 3 games. Yeah, and uh, we did really enjoy doing that. And you are going to be able to get involved with that. Please, when we get that up, uh, we'll I will show you the. Details, video, whatever, we will show you. Um, right now, 
I think I end up rate training. I'm not sure. No, no, I don't. Um, but yeah, still got a couple of minutes left. Come on, Alistair, you can do it. Out of ammo, out of hope, out of money. Because then I realized it was a stupid idea paying for the turret, then rape training round with a pistol. But yeah. Um, Black Ops 2 Zombies. What do you think of it? What do you think it's going to be like? I really hope that it outdoes Black Ops Zombies. I mean, that's going to be really hard to do. Because Black Ops Zombies was extremely good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else enjoyed it. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure who were other people that enjoyed it. But I'm not sure how many other people enjoyed it. Uh, leave your support in the description for zombies. Um, but yes, um, Black Ops 2 apparently was going to be eight player zombies, which means the maps would, um, in effect, would have to be massive. I'm really looking forward to Black Ops 2. Can't wait for it. Um, as you can see, we are uh, we are nearing the end of the, this video where I heroically die in such good fashion I get to here and I just get overpowered I'm like no I end up rate training I'm like one more hit I'm going down and I get down anyway thank you for watching guys it's been great doing this me, this is from me and Harry goodbye god bless Jesus loves you um, we will be getting those videos up later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. This has been your boys, Platinum Gamers.